What's up, YouTube? This is Lizard's Day to One here. Today is November 28th, 2010, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your baseband on an iPhone 3G or iPhone 3GS from 05.14.02 or whatever it is, to 16.00. Now what this does is allows you to have the Ultra Snow Unlock work for you guys on 4.2.1 and 4.1. Now if you didn't already know, that baseband, the older one, does not work with the Ultra Snow Unlock, so now we're going to make it work by upgrading your baseband. Now there are a few things you need to know before you do this that are very important. Number one, this will definitely void your warranty. When you upgrade, it is pretty much apparent that when say you go to settings general about the modem firmware it will say directly there that your modem firmware is 16 it won't say the older one so your warranty is pretty much void and it's it's really easy to tell number two you cannot restore to a factory firmware meaning that when you plug in your iPhone into iTunes and you press restore it won't work you'll get errors so you have to always create it's a 10, new firmware 15. for by using Pwnage tool in order to restore. Number three, you will not be able to downgrade back to the older uh, baseband. It just won't work. So you're pretty much stuck with this. And if they're saying update on the older baseband and you want to update, it won't work because you don't have that baseband. So anyway, putting all the warnings aside, we're still going to go through with this process. And you'll need a few things. Number one is a Mac computer. They don't they do not have Snowbees working yet for this type of tutorial. So you're going to have to use a Mac with Pwnage Tool 4.1.3. Links in the video description. And the only way I found you can get the Pwnage Tool is via a dot .torrent download. So I use Transmission to get that. Uh, but I'm sure as time goes by, there will be just a standard direct download or mirror link that I can put in the video description for those of you not willing to use something like Transition or BitTorrent to get the software. And you also need the iPhone IPSW that you use to upgrade to 4.2.1 that iTunes gave you, as well as an iPad 3.2.2, I believe, uh, IPSW as well. You need that to get that baseband from. Now, you don't need to download your iPhone IPSW because if you go into the Finder and you take a look at your home folder, me, I'm Dan, you go into Library, scroll on down to iTunes you see iPhone right there and there you go there's the IPSW so you don't need to download that my friend discovered that thanks to him uh, but you do need if you don't have one an iPad firmware now the next step is you're going to have to eject any like uh, USB flash drives or anything like that uh, from the finder so like I have a boot camp I need to eject that reason being for some reason when Pwnage tool looks for the IPSW we're going to be using the simple mode today it won't pick it up because there's another file system on the drive no idea why that happens it just does next step sync your iPod and or iPhone actually and then once it's done syncing right click on it and then click back up and iTunes will back up your iPod next launch Pwnage tool there it is. I'm going to launch it. Okay, some warnings there. And select the iPhone 3GS 3G4. Then click the next arrow. Pwnage Tool will look for the 4.2.1 firmware that we have on our computer, or 4.1. There we go. Picked up me up, iPhone 3G. And it's going to give us the warning there. Once again, final warning, warning guys, about this upgrade. So we're just going to hit click next. And now it's looking for the iPad firmware that we download. And there it is. There's iPad 3.2.2. Then click Next. It says we will now create an IPSW file that you can use to restore iPhone 3G, 3GS, blah, 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 blah. Do you want to continue? Once again, another warning. Yes. Do you have an iPhone 3G4 contract that would active normally through iTunes? Now this is up to you. So I don't, so I'm going to click no. But if you have a SIM in there that normally activates, no activation require, you click yes. However, if you need to activate, you click no. I need to activate, so I'm going to click no. Now it's going to build, uh, build my IPSW. This takes a while, and we may need to authenticate during this process. Okay, now, once that has finished building the IPSW, we have Pwnage Tool coming up that says, Has your iPhone 3G 3GS 4? 
been pwned before does it have a pineapple logo if you are unsure click no now mine has been pwned before but because mine's off somewhere getting its screen repair repaired i don't actually have it with me but just for the sake of it because i normally because normally it is i'm just going to click yes but it depends on what you have so now it says close the promotional application, put your iPhone 3G, 3GS, 4 into recover mode, start origins, and restore with your custom firmware bundle. Now you get the thingy that says I has success, and then click next. And then you could quit promotional by pressing command Q. And might as well eject the disk image. And now we're going to open up iTunes. So now I've opened up iTunes. And let me just get my camera set up here so we could... Uh, so I could show you how to get into DFU mode. Okay, so now we're going to enter DFU mode. Now this process is a bit tricky, but I'm going to guide you through it and you shouldn't mess this up. So what we're going to do here, once you have successfully backed up your iPhone, is plug it, is keep it plugged in and slide to power it off. It should still be plugged in to your computer right now. Now here's what we're going to do. Hold the power for three seconds then continue to hold the power but hold the home for 10 seconds then release the power but continue to hold the home until we get some messages on itunes and a bunch of stuff normally that takes a little less than 15 seconds so let's go one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten release sleep one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, there we go. Now we're successfully in DFU. We know this because we get a message on iTunes, and now we're just gonna like dismiss that message. So what we're going to do here at this stage is press the option button on your keyboard, press and hold it, and then click restore. Now, depending on where you have saved your IPSW, mine is in my desktop. There it is, desktop right there. You will see iPhone uh, 4.2.1 custom restore right there. Those are the keywords custom restore.ipsw. And you're simply going to press choose. And then iTunes will do the rest for you, update to that customer store, and that's it. There's no going back. So it's your final decision right here whether you want to do this. Like I said, I told you about the warnings, but it's all up to you. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to favorite, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.